Hi there, and welcome to day 25 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Today we are going to pray that our children will be a fork in the road. And what I mean by that is something that has stuck with me since my college years. I, re I read a book, I think it was Through Gates of Splendor by Elizabeth Elliot um, about her husband, her now deceased husband, Jim Elliot. And he said, Father, make me a crisis man. Bring those I contact to decision. Let me not be a milepost on a single road. Make me a fork that men must turn one way or another on facing Christ in me. What a powerful prayer. I mean, just for him to have the wisdom, because he was a young man at this time. I think he wasn't even out of college when he, when he wrote this in a journal. And a milepost on a single road is kind of like offering a piece of truth here and there along the way. But it tends to ble blend into the scenery, if you've noticed. You know, like I can go miles and miles and not even notice the mileposts sometimes. If I need it and I look and I pay attention, I'm like, okay, yeah, there's something there. I see the milepost. I know where I am. But nobody can ignore a fork in the road. And this is my prayer for my kids. And our prayer today for our kids is that they would not only be mileposts, which are very valuable at times for sure, but that they would be a fork in the road that people that meet them will have no choice but to face Jesus and make a decision about whether to follow him or reject him. And that doesn't mean that we have to have, you know, little Bible beaters, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with talking about scripture, but what it means is that their life is reflective of Christ in a way that makes people wonder, that makes them look deeper and makes them actually meet Jesus and decide one, one way or another. Um, and I, I just really believe that it is one of the most powerful prayers in terms of evangelism that we could pray for our children. And they don't have to be an evangelist to be a fork in the road. They could be, and they could be standing at, on the street corner preaching, but they can also just live lives that are so different and so Christ-centered that they cause people to pause and ask the question, who, who is, what is different about this person? Who is it that they're reflecting and, and that they would actually meet Jesus in that process? So let's pray that our kids would be a fork in the road. Father God, we just thank you for the heart that Jim Elliott expressed in wanting to be a crisis man, wanting to bring those that he contacts into a decision. And we just pray that for our kids, God. We just ask that they would be truth seekers, that they would be... Uh, that they wouldn't be content being mileposts, that they wouldn't be content waiting for someone to look for information to offer it, but that their lives would be a testimony to the love, the power, the peace that Jesus offers, and that that in itself would just cause people to stop and look harder and that they would be faced with a decision. God, I just pray that they would grow more and more into the likeness of Christ, that the things that are noticed about them aren't that they stand out for the sake of standing out or that they're defiant against things that they don't agree with, but that it's their love, that it's their sense of justice, that it's their sense of mercy, and that it's their foundation of truth that would just make sense to people in the way that they live it out. God, we thank you for your truth. God, we just thank you so much that you gave us the example of Jesus, who himself was a fork in the road. He asked, do you want to get well or go and sin no more? He was always challenging people with his words, with his actions, but always undergirded with love. God, we just pray that. They can't conjure that up on their own. We can't make them 
express those things. We can't teach it. It has to be given from you, God. Those things have to be given by you and they have to be cultivated through a relationship with you. And we just pray you would meet them, God, transform them into these pillars that would become forks in the road for all who meet them. In the powerful name of Jesus, amen.